Welcome friends to another unboxing video this time an 81 millimeter APO triplet from William Optics want to use this scope primarily for deep sky photography it came from the local reseller uh, go scientific in a very sturdy packaging let's open it up I wanted the 102 millimeter version but I was told that uh, that particular aperture is no longer sold in India at least. I will explain in the later part of the video why my choice was 102. I have always read uh, awesome reviews about William Optics product in terms of their quality and right now also from the box you can see that. It came with a 50mm uh, f4 guide scope with the 200mm focal length. This is the 2 inch T adapter. This does not have a T ring. It has to be purchased separately. Fortunately, I have a, a T ring for my Canon uh, 600D and this particular T adapter fits perfectly fine with that. The warranty card this combo sold in India does not have the field flattener included that I have to purchase separately which I haven't yet It does have a camera rotator uh, built in. Look at the quality, fit and finish, awesome. The built-in Vietnam mask. It came with the 50mm, uh, 200mm focal length guide scope. Though initially I am not planning to use this because uh, my mount CEM40G does have uh, a guide scope inbuilt which I am using pretty fine as of now. However, later I am going to use this uh, guide scope along with my QHY53178 uh, camera for auto guiding. Oh God, finally got another telescope. Yeah, this is for taking photos. Can I see the guide scope? Yes, of course you can see. Now here you can see a comparison between uh, the William Optics GT81 and 102 and uh, you can clearly see an advantage for GT81 over here in terms of framing. GT81 clearly has a more advantage over here because of larger field of view and that's mainly because it will give you additional room for cropping. 
However, if you take a look at the sampling calculation at the bottom right corner, you would see that uh, 102 has more advantage as the ratio lies very well within the range of 1 to 1.5, which is best. These can be calculated by dividing the pixel size in microns with focal length, multiplying that by 206.3. For those who want to deep dive, please uh, Google undersampling and oversampling in astrophotography. It's an interesting read for you. I'm staying in a brothel 8 uh, sky, so I would definitely need some light pollution filter. I'm using Optolong L Pro. I'm trying out different options, my QHI camera and my DSLR camera. However, later on I am planning to switch to mono for narrowband imaging. Stay tuned, like, subscribe and clear skies.